This video discusses how placed opening elements can be edited in ARCHICAD. After placement, openings can be edited using pet palette commands. These editing operations can be performed in the floor plan, 3D, and section or elevation viewpoints. But only editing commands possible in that specific viewpoint will be offered by the pet palette. Let us activate the 3D viewpoint where all pet palette commands are available, and select an opening element. Pet palette commands are available when clicking any node or edge of the base shape in the openings reference plane, or any node or edge of the openings cutting body. Available pet palette commands will also depend on the shape of the opening. If we click any corner of a rectangular opening, we can use the stretch command to change both dimensions of the opening, either by numeric or graphic input. We can also use the offset all edges command to offset all edges of the opening's base shape, thereby increasing or decreasing the opening size. We can also adjust the limits of the opening's cutting body. When the cutting body is infinite, the pet palette displays the offset from reference plane command, using which we can offset either end of the cutting body, converting it into a half infinite shape, as indicated by the limits setting of the info box. If we now click the other end of the cutting body, the pet palette will now offer the length command, and we can adjust the length of the cutting body. Such an adjustment, where we now defined both the offset and length values, will convert the opening to the limits both sides option, as indicated by the limits settings of the info box. If we click any of the edges of the base shape of the rectangular opening, the offset edge command is also offered, using which we can offset the single edge of the base shape, modifying one of its dimensions. Circular openings offer slightly different pet palette commands. If we click any quarter points of a selected opening circular base shape, we can use the stretch ellipse command to stretch that dimension of the circle, thereby converting the base shape into an ellipse. We can also use the radial stretch command to increase or decrease the radius of the opening circular base shape. When the base shape is an ellipse, the command works so the proportions of the ellipse will stay the same. The bottom row of the pet palette includes commands available for all element types, such as drag, rotate, mirror, and multiply. When dragging, we can drag the opening's extrusion body in space. Using the rotate command, we can freely rotate the opening's extrusion body in space. The mirror and multiply commands work as in the case of other element types. Please note that when we multiply an opening, the copies will cut the same elements as the multiplied opening. A useful capability of the opening element is that it can cut multiple elements, which may be utilized when, for example, a single horizontal opening needs to cut through multiple walls, as in the case of a complex composite wall structure modeled using multiple wall elements, or when a single vertical opening needs to cut through multiple slabs, as in the case of an elevator shaft. The Cut Additional Element command of the pet palette lets us click any additional walls, beams, slabs, or meshes that need to be cut by the opening. The same opening may cut multiple element types. However, we need to add these elements one by one using this command. All elements cut by an opening are called the opening's target elements. The connection grip of the opening lists the element IDs of all target elements. In other words, elements cut by the opening. We can use the plus button on the connection grip to add elements to the list of cut elements. As we move the cursor around, the pre-selection highlight helps us in our element selection. 
Also, when we hover over a cut element in the connection grip list, the element is highlighted. There is a pin icon next to one of the element IDs. This indicates that the opening was originally placed into that element, and that element is called the opening's primary target. We can click the pin column of any other cut element in the list to set that element as the primary target. The anchor point and reference plane of the opening will shift accordingly, as indicated by the base shape and extrusion vector of that opening. The opening always moves with its primary target. Thus, if we move the primary target, the opening will move along with it and will cut the other targets accordingly. However, if any other target is moved, it does not affect the position of the opening. We can also use the X button for any target to remove that target from the list of elements cut by the opening. However, if we click the X button for the opening's primary target, the opening element will be deleted from the project file. Please watch all other clips in this playlist to fully familiarize yourself with the capabilities of ARCHICAD's new opening tool.